Alrighty guys, we are going on an adventure. I am going to show you how I combat the dreaded infestation of earwigs that I have out in my garden. Not just in my garden, but it is all around the house. They are out of control and this usually happens for about a month out of the year. Maybe two months, give or take. I have several solutions that I hope work for you. I know they work for me. So let's go check it out. I'm going to show you. First up, one thing I highly recommend during earwig season is to not have pots or wood piles next to the side of your house because they're everywhere. So you want to move them away from your house because that only provides nesting areas. This here is food grade diatomaceous earth. It's really great in the garden. It's like this. It just looks like that. And why I say food grade is because the food grade is safer to use around your pets. Uh, in fact, I put this in with my chicken food. It helps them with parasites. I also give a little of this to my dogs, very little, like a quarter of a teaspoon for helping them with parasites as well. It actually is able to be consumed by humans in small doses. You do not want to breathe it in because it can be harmful for your lungs. This is fossilized shells. They grind it up. The earwigs will walk through that diatomaceous earth. They'll get that on their exoskeletons. They'll clean themselves. The little particles of the diatomaceous earth, it'll dry them out and many other pests. Uh, let's see, you can also take newspaper, roll it up, put it out into your garden, and first thing in the morning, grab that rolled up newspaper or cardboard and throw it away, burn it, I don't care. It's gonna be loaded with earwigs. That's another solution. Moving your buckets, if you don't mind, while your chickens are around is also a great idea. They go ham on these. All right, let's look for some more guys. <laughs> Love them your weeks. Get them banana. <laughs> Even these little guys, as young as they are, love your wigs. I wouldn't do it too early because they are kind of big for them. Uh, but these guys are getting their their good feathers on. They handle them just fine and they love them. My favorite of all the solutions is this. This is cheap vegetable oil that I get at 99 cent store. This big old bottle is $1.99 and I make my oil traps. I add a little bit of soy sauce to it. It draws the earwigs in. Some of my cups have like 300 earwigs in them. I mean, I didn't count them, but <laughs> it's what it looks like. A grip of earwigs in there. Now, what I suggest is you have in a little strainer that you really don't care to use out in the garden. Strain out those earwigs, throw them away, bury them if you want, whatever, they're dead, and reuse your oil until you no longer see your earwigs wanting to go toward that oil anymore and it will get stinky, trust me, it will. I also try and keep it out of my pet's reach because my dogs will go straight for that oil every single time. And then I see that, I see Callie, it's nasty. Here we go, I'm gonna take you out here and I'm gonna show you at nighttime because this is when they are out and about, they are nocturnal. Duh. It's going to be the first oil pit that I have set up, and I want you to see how full it is. All right, check it out. Let me take the flash in. Yeah. Oh good my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? But look at all the damage. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, so this one, yeah. it looks like they gave up this one. Yeah. Look at how they just torched one of my potato plants. Let's go over here, yep. It looks like they're a lot less yeah. than they were, which is good, but yeah. they're still there. Look at all those oh, suckers yeah. on it right now. Look at all those guys just destroying my Swiss chard. 
for this guy? Yeah. Look at this guy down here. Yeah. Though. We are getting to him. That's cool. Yeah, getting there. That's oh. it. The chickens did most of that damage. Yeah, They're there, chickens. but they didn't. Chickens. <laughs> what do you think, boss? Oh my gosh, thunder and lightning. Yeah. Earwigs are pissed. Are they making you itchy? But no. I mean, there's a, too many of them, of course, but it's time, huh? I was ready to cockroaches. Come on. <laughs> Earwigs ain't nothing, right? Cockroach. <laughs> when I was a kid, yeah. I, I rode horses for years. I was opening up my tack locker. Did not see yeah. that there was a male earwig right there. I open up my tack locker and all of a sudden I feel my, the end of my finger feels numb. <laughs> now everywhere you hear will say, oh, they won't hurt you. They won't hurt you. It didn't hurt, but my finger went numb and I look at my finger and I'm like, ah! And I start going, psh, 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 trying to get rid of this earwig. And it was, and they scared he me after that. He was clamped down, clamped down. clamped down, yeah. scared me after that. I've never been bitten by one. Yeah. Uh, all the experts online say well they can't they bite will. you they're gonna yeah. clamp they're gonna yeah. clamp down they're, I mean, they're you see the damage yeah. they do to plants so. yeah but uh, all the experts say that earwigs don't bite I've never <laughs> been bitten by one I have been pinched by one and yeah. it does feel weird and it did numb my finger yeah me so, too me yeah. too for real okay all right so guys thank you so much for being with me today on this episode of organically and if you know of anyone who can use help with combating earwigs naturally, yeah. please share this video. Yeah. If you have not subscribed yet, yeah. you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so yeah. you don't miss an episode of Organically Ann. There's so much oh. more to come because yeah. you know what? We do things organically here. Yeah. And uh, thank you for being a part of our little urban homestead in Southern California. And stay tuned for another episode of Organically Ann, where maybe it'll be about some more pincher bugs. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Anyways, blessings, and we love ya. Yeah.